Hi everyone, I am Dr. Poushik Sheth, Consultant Reproductive Medicine and Surgery at Genome Fertility Center, Bardhaman. Today, I want to discuss with you regarding polycystic ovaries and the polycystic ovarian syndrome. Now, both these terms are not synonymous. Polycystic ovary is the ultrasound finding of the ovary where we find small bowels or cysts in the ovary. Whereas polycystic ovarian syndrome is the commonest hormonal problem which a woman faces when she is trying to conceive. About 1 in 4 women do have polycystic ovaries with regular cycles and they do conceive naturally without any assistance or treatment. Now polycystic ovarian syndrome is actually a conglomeration of different symptoms where there is irregular or absent period, a tendency to gain weight and difficulty losing it, increased greasy skin with acne, increased excessive hair growth over face and different parts of the body, thinning of the hair of the scalp along with the ultrasound finding of the polycystic ovary. Some women do have milder symptoms while others have moderate to severe symptoms. Now what causes this polycystic ovarian syndrome? We don't know exactly what causes this polycystic ovarian syndrome but sometimes women are born with a tendency of predilection to develop this syndrome. Sometimes it runs in families and in certain ethnic groups being a polygenic disorder. How can we detect polycystic ovarian syndrome? We can detect polycystic ovarian syndrome by simply listening to the story of symptoms and certain blood tests and the ultrasound finding of the polycystic ovary. Among the blood tests, we generally recommend FSH, LH, estradiol, AMH, thyroid function test, prolactin levels, oral glucose tolerance test, lipid profile, vitamin D. What is the treatment of polycystic ovarian syndrome? In general, polycystic ovaries with regular cycles don't require any treatment. But still, we advise healthy lifestyle for optimization of the diet, weight and exercise to prevent the steep consequences of weight gain and increased insulin resistance like increased hypertension or heart disease, diabetes or a rare chance of endometrial carcinoma. In diet, we generally recommend high protein, low carbohydrate diet with plenty of fruits and vegetables. Optimization of the weight is also required as overweight and underweight can lead to decreased chance of pregnancy and increased risk of miscarriage. Regular exercise every day for 5 days a week about 30 minutes for about 30 minutes can help you solve your problem. In the oral ovulogens, generally the patients, those who have irregular cycles, we prescribe oral ovulogens in the form of letrozole or in, in the form of promethine citrate to make them ovulate. When these oral tablets don't work, we recommend daily hormonal injections in the form of FSH or HMG. When these tablets or injections don't work, we drill small holes in the ovary laparoscopically to make the ovaries sensitive to ovulation or make them ovulate. Sometimes we also prescribe metformin or inositol to make the ovaries sensitive to these medications. When this simpler treatment doesn't work, we recommend IVF or test tube baby as the last resort. So by these simple modifications, that is simple lifestyle modifications and simple medications, we can help you achieve your dream of having a pregnancy. Thank you for watching the video.